keep an eye on Saturday. That is the grand mm. opening of Rockford's new library. It looks gorgeous. We've not had a chance to go inside yet. Our reporters have. And right. we get to see the video, and we're just so excited about this. Alut joining us from Midway Village. Love having special guests with us as well. <laughs> you got it. Yes. Yeah. I'm very excited to be here with Ann O'Keefe, the as Assistant Director for Community Engagement with yeah. the Rockford Public Library. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a great topic. We've all been watching the new library yes. come to life. And, and so is, what, what better time to uh, talk about the history of the library. I have uh, uh, a close family friend who's... A fan of the Carnegie Libraries is a history teacher oh, wow. named Avi Black, and he has been encouraging me to tell the story of the Carnegie Library yes. history and how it relates to Rockford. So here we are today to, to well, do that. Well, we'd love to see how we got to where we are. First, let's talk about the past. How did we get here? Exactly. Well, <laughs> take it take away. Take it away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, in 1872, actually, community members uh, decided that our community needed a library. Luckily, in 1901, our Andrew Carnegie uh, started granting cities funding. So he gifted Rockford $50,000. Big deal and, back then. And, yeah. and yeah. now this might sound like history repeating itself. Yeah. That wasn't enough money. Wow. <laughs> so we went okay. back and asked, asked him for 10000 more. Okay. Uh, so we were granted uh, $60,000, which is the second largest gift from uh, him to start our library. Uh, and we opened in the same location that we're opening on Saturday in yes. 1902. Wow. So really cool to see how uh, community first uh, understood the importance of a library yes. and how we have really worked diligently to make sure that whatever the community said they wanted in a new building mm -hmm. on the river is reflected. It and looks I like think that. we've yeah. nailed it. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. What do you think are some of the highlights from the building? So the it is there's a glass cantilevered section that faces Mulberry so that you can look through the entire building. It's oh, amazing. Cool. Wow. So that is really, nice. the, we also wanted the public spaces to be where the river views were, mm -hmm. right? So uh, again, a free space, a safe space, a cool space yeah. <laughs> on Saturday yes. um, so that everyone has an opportunity to hit, really take advantage of our biggest asset, we feel, the Rock River. Uh, so we're excited about that. What does it mean to you? Because, you know, like you said, it's all about the history of our city. Okay. I like that we're in the same spot which I think is really cool but what do you think it means to just our community to you everybody who helped put this together well I think uh, sometimes the 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 waiting is is difficult but mm -hmm. I do think Saturday that will all melt away quickly yeah uh, again the the opportunity to show off what we have it isn't just books there's so many other things there's uh, our local history all came with us mm -hmm. there's uh, climate controlled spaces so we are able to take care of the materials that we have for a much longer yes. time so mm -hmm. that's something what, we've when been, you say what is in that collection so there are everything from yearbooks yeah. to other records of uh cemeteries so and and we've really had a great partnership with midway village too mm -hmm. as that, look yeah. let's look at what belongs at our house and what belongs at their <laughs> yeah, house sure, right sure, yeah and so that's been been a great process as well uh we have local historian, uh, our, our staff is really a great asset. You can come and learn about your own genealogy. So it's, it's really awesome. a beautiful space yeah, exactly. to learn and explore. Oh, well, we could talk about this for yes. forever. It's gonna cut us <laughs> off over here too. Uh, we're excited though. It's all going to be on Thank Saturday. You. I wanna get you those details. It is a beautiful space. Just go check it out. And we have your headlines coming up next. Thank you guys for waking Thank up so early much. with us to be here. That ribbon cutting at nine o'clock on Saturday.